Welcome back to Chaos Kitchen, or uh, Peter Piper and Lazy Dog. Yeah, because uh, didn't Peter Piper peck the pick a pick pick huh? True international average of pressure. Pick the peck a pickled peppers or something. Anyways, I got my helper here. Nash, you want to say hi? Oh, look. Wait. Uh, come on. Look, everybody. It's a man. So today what we're going to do real quick, uh, like I said, quick pickling. Uh, normally pickling, lacto-fermentation type stuff, make your own kimchi, make sauerkraut. You know, it takes days, if not weeks. So what we're going to do today is kind of a quick version of that for uh, we're going to pickle some onions and some peppers, but I'm going to kind of do a, a brine that you could use for anything. So you want to pickle some sliced cucumbers, you want to pickle some beets, you want to pickle some radishes, you want to pickle anything. And these make some of the best condiments you could put on sandwiches, uh, tacos, salads. We're going to use these on tacos in our next video, but yeah, I mean, literally, um, it's something, it's super healthy and delicious. So without further ado, let's go. All right. So first things first, we got our onion. Here's how we're going to do this. This, this onion's got a weird, oh, well, I think it's just the outside. So there's a lot of different ways of cutting an onion. The way I'm going to do it is cut it in half. You got the, the root end, you got the top end. We're going to cut the top off. Boom. Root end, top end, cut the top off. This is our garbage pail right now. Y'all remember garbage pail kids? Those were awesome. If you don't know, then you don't know. Then you were probably way younger than me. So peel uh, the outer layer or two, depending. Just get rid of the paper stuff. Once you get to the actual onion, then we're good to go. So boom, that's what we're looking for. <laughs> now we slice. Simple. We're not doing a dice. We're trying to get strings of onions. So, so we're going to just cut strings of onions and then we're going to separate them. And then we're going to throw them into our jar. So here it goes. So there we got our onions. Boom. Now we cut our peppers. We got a few different kinds of peppers. And here's, uh, let's try, here's a jalapeno. Okay, a couple of different ways to do this. You can do long strings like we do with our onions, or you can do rounds, like I think you normally find in a jar. Now, here's the thing, if you don't like spice, you probably wanna cut, so I'll do this one, I'll show you how to cut to get rid of the seeds. So we're just gonna cut off the sides like this. And then we have, let me just get rid of that. Boom, all your seeds are gone. So now I just cut that into strips. Well, what am I doing? We got this, boom. So then I would just take these, and I would go as thin as you want. All right, here's the other way. So So this way you get the seeds. Serrano, same thing. All right, so we got our, we got our onions, we got our peppers. Next thing we're gonna do, evenly distribute the following ingredients. One bay leaf in each. And then I have some peppercorns, about, I don't know, a tablespoon. Some mustard seed. And then we have some garlic. So you take out garlic. There's plenty of ways to do this, but I just do it a little smash. Peel off the little paper. They can make seedless watermelons. Why can't they make paperless garlic and onions. So it's already smashed, so we'll just do one here. The cool thing about this is you're probably not gonna eat the garlic, but honestly, 
after this has sat for a little while and, and the pickling has done its thing, the garlic's actually be kind of delicious. So you could eat it or you could put it in something like a pasta sauce. So anyway, let's hit it. Boom, smash, peel. We're almost there. So these are ready for brine. Here's what we wanna do. Equal parts vinegar and water. Now you can use literally any vinegar you want. Uh, white vinegar or apple cider is what's recommended. Typically I pickle red onions. So I like that red and, I, and sometimes I throw in some beets to get that red. I don't know, it just, it looks cool. The red color. We're using uh, yellow onions today. So I did a mixture of red wine vinegar and apple cider vinegar. So normally I would do a half a cup and a half a cup, but, oh wait, normally I do probably a cup and a cup. But uh, since I'm doing two jars, one of peppers and one of uh, onions, I'm gonna do two cups, two cups of water. So equal parts, equal parts. And then we got about two tablespoons of sugar. So normally it'd be one if you're just doing one jar. Two tablespoons of salt. Kosher salt, diamond salt, probably the best. All right, now we're gonna put, so we got that. We're gonna let that come to a boil. And then we're gonna stir it. And once the sugar and the salt are incorporated, we're gonna let it cool just a little bit. And then we're gonna pour it right over our veggies. A few minutes later. Once our liquid comes to a boil, you're gonna just stir it a little bit. Boil it and stir it for as long as it takes to incorporate the sugar and the salt into the liquid so we have our brine. Then we kill the heat. And if you notice, this, this pot is, is kind of sad. I don't know, someone should, uh, maybe we need to talk to my producer and have them order me some new pots. Yeah. Okay, so now we take our super duper hot liquid and pour it on there. Whoop, let's make a mess. Let's make a huge mess. Chaos Kitchen, that's what I'm talking about. Now, we're gonna take a spoon, kind of shove everything down, make sure everything is submerged. Yep, that's right, submerged. All right, now here's what you want to do. We want to put a loose top on these. If you put the top on tightly and even don't put them in the refrigerator, they might explode. If you put the top on tightly and put them right in the refrigerator, they will definitely explode. So, Put the top on loosely, see? Super loose. Okay. We're gonna set these off to the side. They're really hot. Let them cool down to about somewhere around room temperature, give or take, I don't know, 10 or 15 degrees. It's not that important, but definitely close to room temperature. Then you can store them in the fridge and they're good for, I don't know, a week. Don't quote me on this, maybe two. I have no idea once they're in the fridge. It's pickled onions, pickled peppers. You use them on everything. So. We've got our pickled onions, pickled peppers. Quick pickling. You can literally pickle anything you want. I mean, fruit, I don't know. Probably gross. But hey, you knock yourself out if that's what you're into. But yeah, you could pick quick pickle anything and they're great condiments. You could put them on salads, put them on sandwiches, put them on tacos, whatever. Anyways, like I said, eat good, live well. Until next time, boom.